Hi guys, uh, just uh, coming to you with a brief overview of the updates to Screencastify so that you can make your videos sing just that little bit better. There are, are a few substantial updates. Um, you'll notice a couple of changes in the editor, uh, which I won't go through today, but the key one is in the recording area. You might have noticed that the toolbar has been updated. Now, if you haven't noticed this, it's probably been a while since you shut down and restarted Chrome. You really need to do that. Uh, your computer needs to sleep just like you need to sleep for its memory to um, be constantly at the top of its game. So please do let it sleep by shutting down your computer in Chrome every now and then, and then reopen it. All the updates will occur uh, behind the scenes, so you might not have noticed it. But if you have noticed it, this is the new toolbar down the bottom here. The big one is that you can move it around to wherever you need now so that it no longer covers important information in the bottom left. The other thing, of course, is you can hide it. So you've got quick controls here so I can pause my recording, I can stop my recording. Um, I like having it out anyway, um, just so I can see what I'm doing, but then eventually I will hide it. Now, you may not have been aware, but there have always been things called keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts. Now these are shortcuts that you can use on your keyboard so that you're not having to drag your mouse all over the screen like this looking for what you're looking for and just makes your, um, keyboard work that much better. Now, there are keyboard shortcuts in a whole range of different things. Um, mostly today I'm going to talk about Screencastify's keyboard shortcuts, go through the ones that are on this list. If you're not using keyboard shortcuts, that is something that you might want to get used to. I find it an incredible time saver, um, which is why I'm going to go through this with you today. Now, obviously, these will be useful if you use Screencastify a lot. Um, I use it a fair bit. I know there are some of you out there that are making, you're hitting the hundreds of videos, so that's fantastic. If you're not using it, please do look into how you, you can use it to support the learning of your students. Recording um, how-tos for your students, like how do I do this problem or how do I solve this issue, really useful for your students and also for parents who get to see it as well. So when it comes to Screencastify, um, there are a few things straight away. So Option Shift S will actually pop down this box up here. So under the, your, um, underneath the extension, it'll actually open up the normal box um, that pops up where you can set all your settings, like whether or not you have a webcam. Alt Shift R, or on a Mac, Option Shift R, that starts or stops the recording. I use that one for this one. If I press Alt Shift R now, it will stop where I am and I'll have to start again. I can pause using Alt Shift and P, so you just press your keyboard buttons, I'm about to do that. And hopefully you've noticed that I shifted on my screen. Um, cool. Um, show and hide the annotation bar. So this bar, it can get in the road. One of the tricks that I've used in the past is just pressing Alt-T and it hides it. But I want it back because I don't know what I'm doing. There we go, Alt-T again. Um, so we can do that. Uh, focus the spotlight on the mouse. So you can see my mouse here, sometimes it can get lost. Focus puts a spotlight around it. So you can see I pressed Alt and F, so you can see that it puts a spotlight on it. To get it back, we can uh, select the next tool that we use. So you may have noticed that when I'm clicking, um, you will see a little circle around where I click. It draws attention to where I want people to see the click. That's this one here, highlight clicks with a pink circle, Alt C. So I was in Alt F and then I pressed Alt C to get my mouse clicking back. Now, if I don't want the click option, I think it's Alt W. Nope, that's how <laughs> If I don't want the classic mouse, this is how often I use it. If I don't want to um, have the clicking, I'm clicking like mad here. You can't see what's going on because I put it on Alt M for the classic mouse. I'm gonna go back to Alt C. There is a brand new one as well down here. There we go, I've lost my mouse. There's a brand new one down here called Alt X, which is fireworks. So my mouse is gone for some reason. There we go. I think my Chrome has killed itself. Um, so Alt Z will bring up, oh, sorry, Alt X will get me my fireworks. That will really draw attention to where you're clicking. I'm gonna see if I can get my classic mouse back. There we go. I'm gonna bring it back to clicks. Get rid of that toolbar. Okay, so um, they are the different options for your mouse. Alt F, sorry, 
Alt F to focus in spotlight. Alt C to get your pink circle. Alt M for no circle. And Alt X for fireworks. And for some reason, my mouse has disappeared. Normally, my mouse does not disappear on that. Alt M to bring my mouse back. Alt C. Okay. I think Chrome is having fun with me today. Okay. Other options. Alt P for the pen tool. So this is where we can draw. But it brings up all these different colors. Green. Yay. Purple. Pink. You choose your, your color. That's fantastic. Alt E to get rid of it. And Alt Z will clear the screen. Now notice it's still on the last pen tool that I used. So if I want to go back to the pen, I need to either click down there or I can press Alt P to get me my pen. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Alt Z to clear it or click on this one. Um, if I want to go back to my classic mouse, there we go, back on my mouse. Alt C to get back. So that's wipe screen does is Alt Z. Um, rectangle. Now under, if I go back to, there we go, rectangle, it's down here. Again, similar things, I can draw a rectangle like that. Or I can press, if I do this again, Alt Z, go back. If I'm back on here on my pen and I want to draw a rectangle, I can go Alt R, R for rectangle. There you go. Again, I need to choose a color if I want it to be different. And there we go. Now, something you might be excited about, you might not, is stickers. That's this button here, or Alt S. So there are a few stickers that you can do. Okay, party, thumbs up smileys that's cool and that's all under sticker or alt s okay you can clear it again just like with the drawing tool alt z to clear it um, and so forth you can actually then bring it back to your mouse if you want and so forth again that fireworks yeah, i'm going to see if my mouse stays yeah there we go now my mouse is staying fireworks to show where you are and of course that's cool now you did see me accidentally do webcam on and off. If I don't like looking at myself, and I usually don't, I can do that, put, bring it back on, and my webcam will pop back on. So these keyboard shortcuts, get used to them. They are actually pretty useful uh, for ensuring that you get the smoothest um, video that you can, assuming that Chrome keeps working, of course, uh, so you don't have a mouse going across the screen when you get there. Uh, to start or pause your recording, you know, having to go down to the toolbar all the time and it's not covering things. Um, so Alt T again to show and hide. And see, so yeah, I'm going to press Alt Shift R and stop recording.